It's Honkai Star Rail time. Okay, let's see. Nice. I'm just playing on my cell phone. That's funny. What's going on in here? Oh, yeah. Whenever I did open uh, the game up on the PlayStation, I did do my uh, daily login thing. So, yeah, I already, I already got that done. Um, character trial. View, view details. Every 10 warps guarantees a four-star or above entity. Feature characters receive a drop rate boost. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, I only have one warp or four warps. Wait, does that... No, screw it. I'm gonna use all my warps just to try and get this adventuring person. What did I get? It's blue. A data bank. Wow. Oh my goodness. Bonus drop. Undying embers. 20. I got 20 undying embers. Hell yeah. Is that good? I, I don't know if that's good or not. I don't, don't want to use all my warps on that though. Every 10 warps guarantees a four star or above entity. Uh, okay, that's cool. Brilliant fixation, bygone reminiscence, and stellar warp. Oh, something irreplaceable. Character trial new. Oh. 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 What, what happens if I do character trial? Him, Himeko? Joint forces. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just try it. I haven't done anything with character trials yet, so might as well give it to go. After breaking an enemy's weakness, this character can develop a follow-up attack against all enemies. This character's technique can increase fire damage received by enemies. Oh. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's give it a go then. Multiple special destructible objects, blah, blah, blah. Sweet. Max technique points reached. Okay, it's just gonna keep saying that. Uh, saw blade tuning deals minor fire damage to a single enemy. Molten detonation deals fire damage. Heavenly flare, victory rush. I, I'm pretty sure I already used some of the, these things that she away. got. Time to Jesus. Battle start two of three. Okay. Blast. Yes. Come one, come on. God damn. You won't get away. Time to twirl. Time for a Battle start. Overhaul. Three of three. Uh, uh. Hack it, Rick. <laughs> Time Stupid for a bot. Shot. Savor the vigor of it. You won't get away. Time to twirl. You won't get away. Uh, okay. All right. Damn. Oh, poor you. Yeah, poor you. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Wish I would have been like Mortal Kombat style, just rip them to pieces. But that works. Hell yeah. Hooray, I did it! Wait, why, why is that lit up now? Rewards preview? Oh, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I should have been done. Uh, joint forces. Okay, I got a lot of character trials, but I, I'm, I'm not going to do all of them right now. That's a waste of time. We got shit to do. Uh, Himeko has joined the team temporarily. Wait a minute. Star Rail Pass. Oh wait. Did did I I'm confused. Oh, that's a departure warp. Okay, that's something different, right? Yeah, that that's that's something different. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's keep going with the story. Hey, I just played as you. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Sounds good. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Yes. Welcome back, Herda. This is the true oh. master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. Hi, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Yes. Uh, hit Genius Society. <laughs> All right, laugh it up. That old Xandar came up with the name. You think I like it? So, sure. this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. You're just a robot. Um, I'll have to take a good look. I'm, mm, I'm a little concerned. Truly amazing. I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? Would you stop calling me a twerp? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right. This little one's body truly is strange. Uh, so is yours. Uh, my name is Jake. All right. I got it, but I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Well, looks like you need more storage space. Just pop a goddamn SD card in that oh. bitch. Well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. I keep forgetting that I gotta click. <laughs> each other. Um, what was your name again? Oh, oh, forget it. Let's oh focus my on God. the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. Uh, study, study what? You, <laughs> What's your price? Course. I should have said that. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. Uh, maybe. That would be some interesting fireworks. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. Thank God. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. Damn straight. For everything else, there's MasterCard. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. Uh, well... That's just rude. I mean, I need a place to stay. It's... Why, why can't I stay here? And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has... Yeah, I want to go on the Express. I don't want to be around this bitch. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. I'm sure she oh. is. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, get on the express or stay behind. You really are the most self-centered person I've ever met. I'll think about Himeko's offer. Uh... My advice would be to get on. You're not doing me that big of a favor by staying anyway. Well, you're not doing me no favors either. You're calling me a little twerp. I'm, I'm going to slap this living shit out of you. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no okay, need to rush good. into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I, I just said I'll go. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. 
It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. I, I don't. Come find me when you've made your decision. I, I don't. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to leave. Who else am I supposed to see? I, I got to blow my nose real quick, guys. Don't get allergies, everyone. It sucks. Hey, Jake, it's Herda. I, I need you for something good. Come to my office quickly. I'm waiting. Uh, but you're right next to me. But wait, if she's right next to you, then why are you texting her? Hi, I'm currently unavailable. I won't be contacting you later. Jesus Christ. Oh, Himeko has left the team now. No, I wanted Himeko to stay on my team. Present old alt. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. No, Himeko's gone. Uh, let's see. I need to get some of these guys on here. Dr. Ratio, Asta, or Serval. You know what? Let's add Asta on here. You need, need, need to have one. like a... E Time to return the favor. Shut up, I'm talking. Uh, we gotta have a, uh, you know, very diverse group. We gotta have the two females, two males, you know. Got, got, got to get that going. Let's see. Uh, wait. Yeah, th this is perfect right there. That, that's fine. Hmm. Uh, uh. Let me see. Oh, shut up. No one's talking to you. Um. Can I? Ah, light cone. Equip. Uh. What do I equip it with? Character is not of the path of. Erudition effects cannot be activated. Superimposition, okay. Um, it looks like I only have one option equip. Okay, enhance credit. Oh my god, I got lots of credits. 137,457 credits. <laughs> ah, sweet. I leveled her up already. Holy shit. Auto add. Level up. Level 20! <laughs> Hell yeah! Sweet! Alright, so... Damn. Alright. So, she's already ready to go. That also means I need to put some light cones on these dudes. Okay, I can only do this one. Enhance. Uh, auto add. Level up. Hell yeah. Sweet. Auto add. No available items to add. Okay. Cool. Equip. Oh, I can't equip anything there. Yeah, I don't have anything to equip. Interesting. Well, let's go over here then. Enhance. Auto add. Oh, no items to add. Okay, cool. Increase the wearer's basic attack and skill damage by 20%. Okay, auto add. No items to auto add. Okay, well, I guess that's not going to work then. Well, sweet. Well, we're getting somewhere. Oh, hey, you need to talk to me. I just came online. What do you want? I haven't completely lost my interest in you. Ask what you got to ask. Uh, well, just say it. How many puppets do you have? What's in your collection here on the station? You seem to own a lot of curios. Can I have one? Why do you own the space station? How do you run it? Uh, IPC doesn't mind another investment. I didn't reject the offer. Uh, as for its day to day, you need to ask a Asta. Okay. I don't have any other questions because I'm going to have to read everything you're going to say and that's annoying. Uh, new readable. Uh, how do I get to the readables? 
bookshelf. Read. That's a lot to read. I'm not reading that. I, I, I gotta remember there's gonna be just a lot of crap. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. It's not crap, but it's a lot of stuff to read. Ah, more Stellar Jades. Currently owned 241. Hell yes. Awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, I got a lot of these. All right. Get all those handled. Perfect. Uh, travel log. Aptitude showcase. Oh yeah, I guess to get me someone new. All right, fine, I'll do the damn trial. I don't, I don't know what it's going to help me with, but I'll do the damn trial. Let's see what this one's about. Invent or adventuring. Uh, provides a stackable special shield to all allies, triggers follow-up attacks, increases crit damage taken by enemies. Oh, that was cool, just a snap. <laughs> Everything just blows up, that's awesome. And that. Just making sure that my audio is set properly. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Oh, the bigger the wind. Sweet. Straight bet. Uh, Cornerstone Deluxe. Roulette Shark. Shot loaded right. Okay, cool. I didn't read any of that. <laughs> Let's just attack. Let's do it. Oh, everybody's providing support. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. That, yes, it doesn't even hurt. Lots of gamblers here. Your head. Oh my god. No dirty tricks, alright. I don't even have to do anything. It's doing it all for me. All in. Do we still have the upper Oh, oh, it's my turn now, okay. Uh, I would assume we still have the upper hand. Better hedge your bets. <laughs> Can still walk away. Oh, oh, dude's floating. What the hell? Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Still haven't taken any damage yet. Enemy targets detected. Enough. All right, I'll call Enough. you that. Can't lose this one. There we go. <laughs> Just dropped him on his ass. I'm fine. Watch your oh god, we're about to die. Calm your body and mind. I'm fine. All in. God, we keep getting hurt, and I just keep dropping change on everyone. <laughs> Oh, come on. Ready for another? Uh, let's get rid of this dude real quick. God damn. These two are getting screwed up. All of them are floating. What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Watch your head. Watch your head. He, this this is a pretty cool dude. I, I like his attacks. Alright, got rid of one of them. I won't go easy on you. 
Ow. Oh god, she she is about dead. Enemy targets detected. Oh. She does nothing. Uh, it's all right. She kind of sucked ass anyway. We need some defense. No dirty tricks, all right. <laughs> Don't ask. Just spend. Oh, nice. Extra shielded. Not today. Watch your head. <laughs> Just drop more coins. God damn. All right. Well, at least we got rid of one of them. Or two of them now, actually. No dirty tricks now look at her all pathetic and whatnot. Okay. Who's this one? Oh, goodbye. I'm fine. Oh, you're not oh. fine. You're about dead. You can still walk away. Calm your body and mind. Uh oh. Okay, he's dead. No dirty tricks. Oh no, apparently not. What? Am I gonna snap the finger? The rest to you. Oh my god. Watch your Are you head. kidding me? Better hedge your bets. Uh, you know what? Give myself some more defense, because now I'm the only one. Come on, snap your fingers. Come on, do it. Oh god, I'm gonna get attacked again. God damn it. All right, goodbye. Get out of here. All right, 1v1. All in. Looks like I've got a winning hand. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, kick his ass. God damn. Oh, uh, this is gonna take forever. Mania? Oh god. <laughs> no dirty tricks. Ooh, oh, okay. I'm I'm getting hurt now. I'm getting hurt now. This is not good. This is not good. Ow. Better hedge your bets. Yep. <laughs> Give me some defense. Don't ask. Just spend. Oh, sweet, it filled it back up, yes. All right, I'm gonna do some more defense. All right, I'll call your bet. Going all in. Yep, I'm gonna do more defense <laughs> before I die. No dirty tricks Oh, God. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that's fine, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah, take some coins, bitch. Thank God for shields. <laughs> Better hedge your bets. Yep, yep, shield again. <laughs> Welcome coins. Oh, dude, that thing is about dead. No dirty tricks on me. Even though it's powerful as shit. Who's this one? All right. And 
Ah, uh, not enough for the coins. Uh, just smack them. Oh, enough for the coins. Yes. Bye bye. And he's done. My teammates sucked ass. They didn't do shit for me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo. Yay. <laughs> I did it. All right. Uh, rewards. Cool. All right. Well, got that one done. That dude was pretty, pretty cool. I, I enjoyed using him. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the news thing. Uh, let's see what we achieved. Eager for battle. All right. Sweet. All right. Let's get going. Now that I spent like 30 minutes just playing around at the beginning. Oh, I'm supposed to go up here, my bad. I wanna go over here. Oh, I gotta go to Her Herta's office, oopsie. All right, hello Herta, even though I just saw you in the hallway. How did you get here so soon? <laughs> Sorry if I kept you waiting. <laughs> Who's waiting for you? I've been busy. What you're seeing is one of my remote control puppets. They're all over the station. I just oh. connect to one wherever I am needed. Gotcha. Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. It was eons, okay. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me. But somehow they managed to... You're not to an ordinary human. ...beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. Oh. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? No. 42? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> What's this? 42 what? Uh, are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. <laughs> right now, I want you to participate in this project. The oh, four okay. geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. Oh, that's cool. I call it the metaverse. Oh my god, it's... It, the, Zuckerberg is infiltrated. <laughs> Seriously, don't ride that hype train. <laughs> Let's just keep it simple. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. But let's call it the simulated <laughs> It's so self-aware. <laughs> now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Ooh, substantial reward. All right. I want a reward. Uh, simulated universe first closed beta. Oh. Okay. Yes, just. Yes, just, just nothing. We're, we're going to go take a look at this. Jake, can you see this message? If you do, just tap anywhere on the screen. Yeah. Your body's still sitting in the office. This is a simulated universe generated from your memories. This is only an alpha test server where the features are not fully available. Now try to walk around. See, you can move around now. I want you to play. Ah! -ha! I couldn't read what you were saying because I was about to get attacked. It's too late to repent. Oh, auto battle. Sweet. Now I don't have to do anything. Oh my god. This sanctuary is but a vision. This is nice. I could I could just watch all of it myself and I don't have to do a damn thing. Sweet. 
There's a murmur in the amber sky. It's dusk. You look up and find countless copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain. In the steam, the colossal things stretch their spine from the mantle with the sledgehammer gripped in their broad palm. You open your eyes and realize that this is actually uh, Kli, Kli Poth, the Eon of Preservation. Oh. Uh, is this some kind of role playing? There is a huge roar around them. This is a warning for you. Then they disappear before your eyes. Calculations are correct. Uh, the Eon of Preservation has really appeared. Herda's voice suddenly sounded and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Eon of Trailblaze. Akivili's, uh, Akivili's, uh, however, I don't know. Revival has attracted an old friend, but they have run away. What you saw was a simulated eon carefully cultivated by Ruan Me May and Screwlum. The simulated eons will ignore us just like the real one, so I set your st simulated identity as Akivili. Eon of Trailblaze to attract them. With a click of her tongue, Herta says, Now it seems that my judgment is correct. Next time you run into the Eons, try to get something out of them. Uh, what do you want to know? Myths of the Eons, anecdotes, love stories, the origin of the universe. Anything will do. Just think of something. Okay. I'll cover you for this test. See, I use my clearance to enhance your blessings. Now you can go have some fun. Don't ask why. Just thank me. Go pick one. Sweet. Everything's enhanced. Uh, use preservation blessings to increase your survivability. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what? I don't, I don't want the game to do it all for me. I kind of want to jump in at some points. What? Kicked his ass, recovered from break. How rude. Yeah, try that again, see what happens. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Yeah. My turn. Rules? Are meant to be broken. Rules are meant to be broken. Yeah, tell them. Goodbye. Bye bye. See you later. Cleepoth didn't come, I guess, as much. Pick the blessing that turns shields into damage and hurry onward. Uh, after attacking enemies, the attacking character deals quake damage based on the current total shield. Uh, I'm super, I'm, uh, yeah, okay, let's just do that. Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. I want a fourth person in here just in case. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, that, that's... That's it? Okay. I can only have three people, apparently. It's too late to repent. Jake, I'm going to speed up the process. Now you're going to fight three times in a row. It's not how the simulated universe should operate, but I'm running out of patience. Okay. Be sure to collect preservation blessings. Okay, see if we can get... Uh, Cleepoth to visit once more. Alright, yeah. Let, let's speed up. Let's make it quick. Just a Try that again. Too late to repent. Oh, okay, can't do that yet. My turn. No interest in conflict. Tough luck running the truth of life and death through the sanctuary is but a vision. Kick his ass! Oh, that didn't really do much. Here! Here! 
take a shield. Try that again. Okay. Goodbye. My turn. Gotta try hard sometimes. Yep. Watch this awesome move. Wee hoo! Let's go. Too late to repent. Goodbye. Oh, and number three. Okay. Tough luck running the truth into me. of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Just a scratch. You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. They are. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a hell of a hit right there. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you have defeated normal enemies and can select a blessing. Um, um, uh, uh, yeah, just do that, I guess. Darn it, you have defeated normal enemies. Uh, well, they probably won't come. Oh, that's the one. Sorry, I temporarily re revoked your activity permissions. I need to apologize to you about something. I confess I'm a little too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Uh, Kleepoth's appearance was probably just a coincidence. That's it anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, was I just not following instructions? Which, I mean, I never do, so th that's fine. I don't care. Stay mad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I know where I'm at. Okay. My turn. Give myself some defense. Uh, goodbye. You can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Yep. It is an awesome move because you froze him. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Ooh, ow. I'm just gonna keep kicking his ass. My turn. Ow. You can't run. Oh, he's almost gone. Goodbye. Get out of here. Fight is over and you wait in place, but nothing happens. See, even whenever you control all my crap and tell me to choose something different, still nothing happens. What should I do? There is a long silence followed by a deep sigh. I was expecting them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe then. It'll only take a second. You won't feel a thing. Let's check back in reality. Uh, Herda? They came! No, not them. It's another Eon. It's her voice suddenly drifts off. You have a strange feeling about this as if Herda's words solidified and the whole simulated universe became somehow unreal. Oh God, what's happening? Oh, hello. Fooly, you see a blurry figure made of mirror fragments and their facial features are repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. You see Kafka, her body is stretched, deformed and rubbed together with the umbrella in her hand, turning into water droplets and falling at your feet. What the hell? What kind of trippy acid bullshit am I on right now? You find yourself becoming a weeping Ad, ad livin, ad livin, baby. Uh, I can't talk, dude. <laughs> With an uncut umbilical cord, you remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself dark skinned and wearing a robe on the wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss, reaching out to catch the shooting star. Then their voice suddenly came. 
The robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic words. Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Before you can say anything, they suddenly disappear. Uh, they have controlled my brain. Wait, let's talk about Kafka. Yeah, where's Kafka? We did it! That was fully. They thought you were the falling Ak Akavili, so they actively started a conversation with you. Fully is valuable for our research because they have the memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as uh, Nos does. The Eon of Erudition. Come on out, Jake. I want to upgrade the simulated universe. You need to stay in there even longer in the future. You said you wouldn't interfere anymore. Oh. Feels like a hook pulled out your belly button and your entire body tumbled in a circle. When you open your eyes, you're already back in Herta's office. Nice. My first experience has ended. Hell yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was fun. Success. I have to tell this news to Steven right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. You should show me some respect. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I got too excited. Sorry. I do respect you. No, you don't. You don't mind, <laughs> no, you don't. Please go in for another test. <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe. It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. This part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yay, I love fun well, games. Said the same thing. I don't really get fun, but whatever. What's more important is that the rewards will also increase. Oh, In nice. a nutshell, this is a I, I want increased rewards. version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry. Oh, sweet. Now I don't have to click anymore. <laughs> now that I know that there's a button for all this. All right. Herda has joined the team. Awesome. Now that I know that there's a button that I don't have to uh, keep pressing the dialogue, I I'm going to do that from now on. Uh, okay. So, Herda has joined the team. So, that means Asta, I'm sorry. I'm going to swap you with Herda for now. You better be good. My time is precious. How about you shut your goddamn mouth? How about that? There's, uh, there's her to level up. Auto add. Level up. Awesome. Level 18. Goddamn. Holy shit. Level up. Auto add. No available items to auto add. Yeah, because I used them all on Herta. Auto add. Yeah, no, I don't have shit now. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, look, look at that. Herta's the most leveled up person on this goddamn team. All right, we'll, we'll come back. We'll, we'll come back and do that later. It's getting late. Where's he now? Use the teleport function to fast travel to unlock locations. Okay. Use navigation to quickly move between different locations. Switch to the supply zone. Uh, space anchors to teleport and get to destinations quickly. Okay. Yes, fast travel! Fast travel time! Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know where I'm at. This is where the boss battle was. That was the space anchor. Oh, everyone's healed up. Okay. Hello, guys. I'm at the space anchor. S the space wanker. God, I wish I could jump. Let's go to the space wanker. Hey, What's up, I March? Heard the news. You're coming with us on the express, right? Uh, do you want do me to I come even along? Need to say it? I think we're becoming fast friends. Isn't that enough? Uh, oh, okay, all right. You're but you're getting a little too close. Like you've got something on your mind. Come on, out with it. Yeah, you're you're 
this is a little much for me. I need my space. <laughs> uh, oh, how time flies. Does that kind of thing happen often? I'm thinking about if I should go on the express. Uh, oh, how Getting time flies. nostalgic already? You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat? Just incredible! I know, I'm I'm just that good. In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me. <laughs> that wasn't the only thing I put in Mr. Yang's black hole, if you know what I'm saying. Nah, we're not splitting up here. Uh, I'm thinking about it. you should. I'm thinking about it. Why wouldn't you? There's only four but why of us would now, I? plus Pom-Pom. Why would Each I? Each of us can have our own carriage to sleep in. You wouldn't have the heart to leave your carriage unmanned, would you? Oh, you got me. I want to leave it unmanned. Uh, I don't know what the carriage then is like. Come aboard and take a look for yourself. Fine. I'll be waiting for you. Sure you will. He's trying to get my pee-pee. I think you're laying it on a little thick. Wait, what? Someone's laying it on thick? Oh well. So, have you thought things through? Uh, I still have someone to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, <laughs> speak your mind. Uh, have you uh, taken care of everything you needed? What's the next stop? Why invite me to join? Because you're different. Okay. Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. I think. So you just want me for the Stellaron? That's what it is. Okay. All right. I see how it is. From everyone else, everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. Uh huh. Yeah, but and that's why you want me to go. To you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herda or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron. You see your underwear. <laughs> and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might Can I see my underwear? An enigma. But the fact no, that I can't is, see my underwear. That's a shame. Part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. Okay, thank you. There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the antimatter legion. And know that well, oh, Herda it's no big deal. It, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? Apparently not. How about we continue talking on the express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. <sighs> Fine, I'll get on the god dang express. What's next? Or always, what's the next stop? To follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Akivili, okay, Sometimes all right. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space and the express does too. I want to seek out new worlds. <laughs> And the Express wants to return to its former path. Uh, have you taken care of everything you <laughs> I need? I was ready ages ago. I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. It should have, but it but wasn't. Everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking not the anymore. Walking over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Yes. I don't so, have any more questions. Have you thought things through? Uh Screw it, then let's go. Let's go. Let's get on the express. Let's do it. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Time to get on. All my other friends left, or, or didn't come with me. 
Oh, hello. Who are you, Pom Pom? Is that who you are? Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to okay, you. Okay, yeah, this is Pom Pom. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Okay. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. Yeah, there's but been a lot of them. This is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Okay. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. Aye, aye Captain Pom Pom. Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Sounds good. Uh, enter astral guide. Complete operating briefing according to the instruction. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. I wanted to claim some stuff. Fine. Okay, hang on. Oh, come on. I wanted to claim my shit first. All right, cool. Can I claim my shit now? Yeah, let me claim all this, and then I'll get in there, and I'll do whatever the hell it is that you want. Uh, okay, never mind. All right. Let's do skills training and shit. I don't want to do skills training. Skill points are shared among the team. All right. Fighting is meaningless. Oh, wait, I already know this. Enemy targets detected. Let's go. Uh, team skill points have been expended. Big, basic. Yeah, I already know this. Ready for another? I'm so confused. Wait, hang the on. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Only five? Oh my god. Let's make it. Oh, quick. the enemy will only receive skill damage. Okay. Fighting is meaningless. You're right, fighting is meaningless because we don't have any points. There we go. Alright, challenge completed. Alright, give me another challenge. I know, yep, there's more. Energy and ultimate. Let's do it. Let's just get it done and over with. Regenerate energy in battle when using abilities. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Enemy data secured. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. God damn. Data secured. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Yeah, counter attack. Bye bye. Perfect. Weakness break. Uh oh, okay. Weakness break. Uh enemies have weaknesses and toughnesses. Uh use attacks of the same type as their weaknesses to reduce their toughness. Okay. Uh, target enemy is weak to physical, ice, and wind damage. Uh, Dan, uh, Dan Hung's attacks are wind type and can reduce the Okay. Alright, cool. Don't hesitate. Ah, there it is. Once their weakness is broken, enemies will suffer an additional hit of break damage. When inflicting weakness break on enemies, characters will also impose various debuffs on the enemies. Told you I could fight. 
Let's go. Okay. I've no interest in conflict. My turn. <laughs> Give myself defense for no Let's reason. Make it quick. Okay. Oh, goodbye. Fighting is meaningless. Oh shit. The truth of life and death. Uh, you thought you were gonna do something. Give yourself defense. This is our chance. Ow. Sweet. Uh, let's do that. Ooh, I'm made to be broken. Oh, I think I screwed that up anyway. <laughs> Here. Here. I have no interest in conflict. Gotta get those points back up. My turn. You can't run. All right, come on. Broke him. Fuck <laughs> you. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> I bet everyone's like, Jesus Christ, dude, are you really this bad? Yes, I am this bad. Hooray. All right, I don't want to do that right now. Can I do it? Can I go do something else? I want to do something else. I want to do something else. Uh, what's going on in my messages? Are you still at the space station? Hey, I'm it's me. I got your number without asking. Oh, that's screwed up. Uh, I'm already on the express to travel, Am. Oh, among the stars. The station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, I'd like to ask for some up. Uh-oh, my phone credits for this month are running out. This is my last message. Come, I'll be waiting. Uh, okay, well, I can't do that right now. I'm in the middle of something. What is this? Omni synthesizer? Unlock after completing the mission. Oh. So, long wait for the blade's edge. I all right. I gotta finish that. What's up, pom pom? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Uh, where's March seventh's room? Why are you interested in her room? I want to go talk ah, to her. Pom -pom Remembers Kimiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. Okay. Our seventh room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always oh. running around. Oh, uh, of course so that's where she it is. Be there. Uh, Dan Hung. Don Hung's room? Don Hung. Oh, you mean the archive? Uh, sure. <laughs> he lives with the there, archives? I what? I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Is that a you phonograph? You recognize this as well? A phonograph? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. Why not? That also got modified a bit. Uh, I tell my question. To prepare for the Express's warp jump. Uh. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. I got my eyes on you too, Pom Pom. So uh, don't don't you worry. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Investigate. What is this? Himako likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Nice. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. 
<laughs> oh, you you mean it, you, could bring a few back. you mean re records it, records tiny records? Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Uh, I want to play some songs. Use the phonograph to change music when on the express by exploring. Very okay. Alright, cool. <laughs> Such goofy music. <sighs> oh, that's the basic one. Okay, let's do timeline. We'll just stick with timeline. Okay. Welt Young. Oh, you. How do you feel? Uh, full of energy. Great. That's a hell of a Looks lot. Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In I'm case, special in all sorts of I ways. I have to thank you for saving March. You're welcome. I'm almost here for you, fam. Uh, I can just stand by and it's watch. Good that you think so. Someone with that mindset and the actions to back it up, that is the true meaning of the word hero. I'm no hero. However, as long as the Stellaron is still. Oh my body, god, that's all you guys want to know is about the Stellaron. Everybody just wants to know about my Stellaron. Why can't we just talk about, like, my eyes but or something? I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station. You must be tired. There I just said I was full of energy. What? Jump, so <laughs> feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. Okay. Whatever you say. What? Stop it. Damn headphones are messing up on me. Or some of the ones have. Go away, cords. Nice. All right. What was up here? Can I just leave while we're in the middle of space? Oh, there's something cool in there. But I can't get in there. What do you What's think? Up? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? Uh, so far, so good. As I expected, it looks like a train. Everyone on the Express is a passenger. We're all heading towards an unknown destination. Like we're traveling together. Maybe that's why the Trailblaze chose such a look. Maybe. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. <laughs> you youngsters. Oh, God, I just want him. I just want him. I just want to bring your kitchen neck. Are their rooms fun? Oh, well, you know young people. Their rooms always reflect their what is personality. Up you like, can go and lady, have a look around. You you look like that you're also, in your early thirties. Don't mind if anything. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the express for a long while. All right, I won't. I'd like steal to know why. Mom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. Sounds good. Uh, I probably won't. All right, passenger cabins. 
Uh, probably should see. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear all this crap out real quick. Voyage continues. Adventure missions. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do all that later. There's stuff that's going on. Travel log, trailblazing will. Ah, nice! 10 star rail passes. Yeah! I always wanted one of those. Universe in a nutshell. There's so much stuff to fill up. Good lord. Claim PlayStation login. Oh, nice. <laughs> because I logged it on PlayStation. I can't log in rewards. <laughs> no, no news. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Okay. Who's there? It's me. It's you. The door is not locked. Come in. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got a hell of a room in here. Good Lord. This is a nice room. Can I help you? Uh, just looking Feel around. Free. This is open to everyone on the express. Oh, good to know. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the express. I agree. I enter the collected data into the archives databank. I try to catalog the people and places the express encounters and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information oh, stored yeah, yeah, in the terminal. databank. Do give it a go. Okay. Bookshelf. Uh, species of the galaxy. Are these just all my books? Or all the things that I've found? Okay. I'll be entering any new information we encounter on future journeys. So drop by any time to check it out. We also have a shortcut on the terminal device. Uh, I didn't know you could fix computers so well. I didn't take you to be a scholar. Seems like you have some deep misunderstandings about me. Uh, well, <laughs> I think I know who caused that. I, I have, I have no idea. To. Feel free. I, I, I don't know exactly who caused that, but sure. Investigate. Oh, eons. Open the character screen. Oh my god. Alright, let's view my character details in the databank. You can view each character story and voice lines. Alright. Uh... Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. I'm not done yet. Journeys never end. This is my w March. Don Hung. Like always, Don Hung. Once I'm counting, I'm on it. Well, uh, um. This is. Let's stay alert. Who's better? How about it'll take more than just a scrap? Let's make it quick. Uh, you're at you decisive strike. So one much better. Keep at it. Well, at least I know like how my voice sounds throughout the entire game. <laughs> oh my god, that that's funny. All right, uh, eons. Okay, it's just it's just indexed stuff. All right, cool. Oh, terms. All right, cool. All right, let's move along. I gotta go to, uh, I gotta go to, uh, to uh, March's room. What's up, March? You knock, but there's no the response. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? So, let me tell y'all something. If you're trying to go into a girl's room and it's unlocked, but there's no answer, you should not take a peek. So we're gonna respect some privacy. Uh, better to wait till the room's owner comes back. Yes. Yeah, Ten. no. Hi, hello, attention all passengers. Yeah, de Attention definitely don't want to go passengers. in her room. 
Uh, peculiar scent of coffee coming out of the room. Nice. Uh, door doesn't even move an inch as if it's glued in space. Okay. Uh, I did not return to the parlor car just yet. Oh, I want to go in there. What is that? The office? The main office? This looks really cool. I like this. It looks pretty god dang dope. But yeah, if a girl is not in her room, if there's a girl that you're trying to see and she's not in her room, best bet is to just stay out of the room. Just saying. Hey, see, see, there she is. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? Right. Uh, but I'm still worried about what lies uh, ahead. It's just like Mr. Yang. Always worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you got to. Here, let's do some relaxation exercises. Why do you keep saying young people? The like, we're all around the same grab age. A hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Uh, Pom Pom, what are you doing? Uh, it, you can't just grab something like well, that. Well, it is a little abstract. But basically, you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. Everything. Everything's bothering Second me. Second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. Uh, is this some sort of mumbo jumbo about transferring consciousness? <laughs> okay, I'm ready for step three. Seems like you're a natural. It's not easy to reach this level of enlightenment. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. Uh, okay, well, I've cast out all the anxiety really? now. <laughs> I've never been able to do it successfully myself. What does it feel like? Oh, my like God. Worries have been swept away. I, okay, yeah, I did it. <laughs> You're such a crazy bitch. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. Yay, everyone's here. I'm so excited. Where is Dong? He will be here. So just leave him be. Oh yeah. Oh, take okay. Th but but he's just as important. He's part of my team. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Oh, okay. Uh level 2 rewards. Nice. Level 3 rewards. Oh, holy shit. 10,000 credit. God damn. Jesus. I'm getting all sorts of credits right now. Holy hell. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom -pom's uh, yeah, that to sounds start about the right. Final preparations for the jump. The voyage continues. Complete. Today is yesterday's tomorrow. Uh, add friends, receive support, and challenge. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. Contemplating if I if want to make a boot hill cause what. Add friends via system recommendations or by search with UID. View the friends you've added. Okay. Uh. Sp space is beauty. I may be addicted to this. I love gambling. <laughs> I love gambling. You know what? You know what? J just for that, and it made me laugh. Yeah, there you go. Friend request sent. I don't know if that's going to make any difference or not, but. Uh, oh, they're pom pom. I don't, I don't really know if I want to have friends from here, to be honest with you. Okay. I'll just I'll add the people who have bios. That's it. 
there. If they don't have a bio, then they don't get a friend request from me. 15 days ago, 14 days ago, Jesus. God damn, this whole thing is getting filled the hell up. Alright, uh... Well, I guess it's time to sit down and go on a trip in our favorite piece of shit. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? What's the next stop for the express? The universe. Oh, that's pretty, dude. That is the so Astral pretty. Express. I like that. I like that a lot. Eons. Eons! Eons! Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? Yes. The Stellaron thing in my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. You're ruining everything but for me. It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. Oh, that's cool. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, <laughs> I like how we jump out of the cutscenes and go right into this. In front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. Oh, well, the whole that crew sucks. was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Uh, rescued from the ice? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Uh, how did you get frozen? Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Oh. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on That's this train and following name. it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking what, about? What, you were probably a hateful a way person. To get everyone down, <laughs> huh? Uh, sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Oh, okay, then it's your fault. <laughs> Cheer up. It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. I mean, it could be every yeah, day if we tried. Here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Hell yeah, I, that's enough time for me to get some popcorn. Uh, get, give me something to drink. Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. No, but I am. I, well, I'm a newbie. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. Ha! <laughs> that's just called <laughs> never get Called out! out. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Damn, so demanding. We're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. Uh, wait, hang on, hang on. Where's Don? Where's Don Hung? Why is he not coming? The door is shut tight. Maybe Dan Hun locked it. Maybe. I wanted him to come with us, though. Uh, feels like you'll fall right to sleep after sitting on it. Hold on tight and wait for the jump to finish. Hello? Hello, hello? All right, let's get through the jump. All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. <laughs> I won't fall Hold over, on, and she's going to fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. That was cool. That was dope. <laughs> Did she fall over? After all those millennia, I want to know if she fell over. Of six has become. Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time. Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Apparently not. Spatial readout anomaly. 
Star Rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. Wait, indefinitely? <laughs> indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Take an okay. ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This hmm. again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. I, I, don't, I don't know what it's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Oh, uh, okay. I'm the anomaly. That, that's what it is. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Oh, just like that one. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So I'm an anomaly. I'm the reason why we're stuck. <laughs> what exactly is a Stellaron? I'm, I'm confused. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. The only thing Let's we go do it can then. say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster planted by a certain eon throughout the universe we can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster uh so we're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights why can't the people in the world's affected save themselves so you're saying so you're saying that we've got to get busy okay Let's I'd get like busy, to entrust then. this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. You got it. Awesome. We get to work as Heck a team again. Heck yeah. Again. Yeah, we get to work as a team again. Hooray. Uh, I'm kind of sleepy. Hey, <laughs> that's not the spirit. What? 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 I am. Like, what do you want? El what so else do you want me to say? Turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Urelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, grand cool adventure. Hooray! I'll be right back. So, where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. Uh, yeah, sure no you pressure. do. Okay, so, quick thing. I had the recording paused, and I forgot to unpause it. So, I made it here. I leveled everyone up, did some battling, found this dude in the snow, and he said that he would take us to wherever it was that we were needing to go. So, that that's... That's why we're here now. I had just realized that my recording was still paused whenever I got up to take a break a moment ago, and I, I was so goddamn mad. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> so yeah, we're we're all out here trying to, uh, trying to uh, number seven, find never leave find something. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Hmm. Okay. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. They look stupid. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. You are such a pussy. Arrest them. It's now or never. Over to you, dear friend. Hey, 
You are a pussy. Let's make it quick. No interest in the truth of life and death. Alright. Now we're gonna get somewhere because I leveled everyone up to level 20, so hopefully I can kick some ass. Oh, it looks like it anyway. <laughs> yeah, everyone's kicking ass now. Now that I got everybody to level 20. Wait, what? Who are you? Uh oh. Oh, we're in a big battle now. Oh, Gepard. Or Gepard. Gepard, whatever. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Oh, that son of a bitch. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Sweet. My turn. Oh, we're we're going we're going really slow again for some Ooh. reason. I'm made to be broken. Yeah. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Yeah. Do you know who I am? This big I don't think he cares. Take focus. Take oh shit. Oh, oh god. Time to twirl. Defense. Yes, yeah. Defend him. Let's go. Good. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Yeah, get rid of that guard as well. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. Ha ha. That's what you think. I'm going to kick your ass. This ends here. I doubt that. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost oh. him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Yeah, he was a pussy. No matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. You don't have us. We were kicking your ass. We're not his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. What? Uh, no. How about but no? Uh, does our equipment bear any resemblance to yours? Show them the photos, March. Take a look at our clothes. Show them the photos. Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius. Great idea. Uh, sure. You're yeah, yeah, never I'm definitely. Seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. She showed a part of the photo of the ice-covered ball. White ball? That's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from Interstellar Travelers visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Yeah, well, but these I don't know what to tell you there. This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her, 
nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Oh, thank you. Oh, whenever I see Sampo again, I'm going to kick his mother flippin' Welcome ass. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Oh, damn. God damn. This is a big place. Holy hell, man! Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> last bastion? 700 years ago. Monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. That was a shit ton of tornadoes. All that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klipoth, the preservation, Klipoth remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. <laughs> right? Marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh. <laughs> Um, I, sure, that's fair. Sweet, my trailblaze level increased. Yay, oh my god. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must uh, have gonna, come from a Terran converted space. Collect. A fragmental. Uh, quick read. Correct. How do you. That's right. Out there in the blizzard. That, that better be a quick read, I swear to God. Ah. Read. This is not a quick read. Behind the scenes, after a two-year hiatus, Catherine, the genius composer, surprised the theaters with her new opera masterpiece. Two years ago, Catherine easily won the Gallier's Award with her very first piece of work, thus becoming the youngest winner of the Gallier's Award for Best orchestra Orchestrations in a Play. This talented composer did not accept any offers from any directors or theaters. However, she shut herself off from the world at the height of her popularity and spent two years focusing on her new work. As it turned out, Catherine's latest masterpiece, Citizen Alexandra, prov proved, <laughs> had proven to be a sensation when the initial draft was introduced to the public. Theaters and musicals love this talented composer's new work. To everyone's surprise, Catherine chose a new performer to play the female lead. Citizen Alexandra is a story driven by a female protagonist. The Supreme Guardian can also show her warm and vulnerable sides. I hope that the audience can understand the journey the Guardian went through her life, transforming from vulnerability to the path of preservation. That's the reason why I chose a new performer. The one in Catherine's mind was Dasha, for whom it would be her first time as a female lead on stage. Although in this play, Alexandra will reveal her female elegance and unique charm. She is always a supreme guardian in her people's hearts, which means she had to change. She had to transform from a tender rose to an unbreakable rock. As for Dasha, her personal experience honed her voice to be able to showcase this aspect. Catherine said with a smile that she was very grateful for the trust of the director and producer in letting her decide the female lead. The cooperation between Mia, the director, and Catherine, the composer, was a surprising success. The play Citizen Alexandra had not been shown to the public, but in the previous trial shows that only open that only open to professionals in the media. This musical, combining many popular songs, was greatly praised by the audience. With the new singer Dasha's beautiful voice, not only did Alexandra, the supreme guardian, and show the tenderness of a teenage girl, but also perfectly pre presented her determination and selflessness as she chose the path of preservation accompanied by three male friends. Blizzards may tear me apart, but they can also make me who I am. It's your love that helped my heart uh, always be as unbreakable as a rock. Before the official show starts, Dasha sang us a small part of the Alexandra theme song and a few lines of the legendary life of the Supreme Garden has been presented vividly. Nice. There are still many threats, <clears throat> including the monsters you saw. Oh, I, I got achieved stuff. Yes, give me the Stella Jade. Sweet, sweet victory, yeah. Uh, Fate's Atlas is unlocked. Click here to check the progress of your trailblazing expedition. Okay, cool. In the withering wintry night, ever winter night, go.
clicked off the screen. Oopsie. Kid that the idolizes the guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. But I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. Okay. We're lacking in intel. Okay. We're here. Well, this is Kapoth Fort, the heart of Bellabong and headquarters of the Architects. Uh. Klipoth Fort. Klipoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klipoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. Oh. To show our reverence, we named this fortress that. after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klipoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. Wow. The current Guardian is Madame That's Kokolio That's probably Rand. taken a very long time Every to do so. Every <laughs> major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. <laughs> you have now no idea, March. Kolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Oh, okay. Well, I I, I don't want to keep her. See her right now. Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? No. Uh, can I tag along? Is there any etiquette we need? Oh my God. Why, why does it give me creepy answers? Sure. Let's not waste time. No one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Adam Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. I, God, that was such a creepy answer. I, I hated that I chose that. I won't choose that kind of answer again. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother. Oh, okay. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. Oh, you Jepard. Is it Jepard or Gepard or what? What is his actual Welcome, name? Visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze, or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky. No. You can. I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Because we wanted to. So you don't doubt our identity, so you believe we came from beyond the sky. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember kind of the history <laughs> well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. Yes, An Eon yes connected it was. our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. Mm. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Uh, uh, I mean, we want to help, but can I trailblaze at the same time? Um, uh, here, uh, yeah, we came we just, here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, 
the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Stellarons were cast by the Eon of Destruction. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Fragmentums are a product of the Stellaron. Um, mm, Eternal Freeze. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants lending a helping hand to any world affected by a stellaron <clears throat> your analysis of our current circumstances is clear we have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of some of which prove vexatious to us even today but why should you care even if this Stellaron you speak of did I just realized her disaster, hand was frozen. I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please let us help you. Yeah. FYI, we're pretty awesome. Oh my you god. No, how to That is so cringe. Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well. I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. It, of course it I'm is. I'm willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Oh, it's the about Celeron. time. Thank you. Oh my god, I was late. so tired and of having to tired. explain myself. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. That's fine, I guess. Whatever the hell that was about. Oh. Of course, I understand. Uh-oh. Do not worry. I have a way. Uh... Something weird happened it there. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's an impressive figure. She's the big shot. Definitely got that queen of the castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait. Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Says you. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane guards stationed there. It started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. Yes, what we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Everyone's gonna get corroded in the city? Is that what it, that means?
Let's see a performance. Wow, look at or, the carved oh, ice. The carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? I don't want to. I don't want to see what's going on with the children. It's not my problem. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards and a temporary guide for the a journey through Bellabog. Wasn't I just playing at this as this my girl? My name is Pelagea Sergeyevna. But you can call me Pela. Yeah, wasn't yes, I just playing Pela. wasn't I just playing as Pela a moment ago? Uh, yes, we Pela. The grown -ups among us could refrain from acting like children. Okay guys, <laughs> take a look over here. <laughs> This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klippoth. It was they that foresaw a crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Wow, that's, Everwinter that's Monument impressive. is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature. Can I go get a hot dog? Any questions? Yeah, can I go get a hot dog? Here, let's go over here and see this performer. Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Jacquard say there'd be a show here? Uh, he, he did. He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Just so that way you can be Normally close by. I don't know. Heater inside a building, right? Uh, is this how they repel the if so, freeze? I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Uh, oh, wow, hi. she's cool. Uh, hi, hello. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Hmm. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, then what's the uh, point in finding okay. you? I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Uh, we only just got here. Everything's new to us. Here? Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? Yeah. What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. But I, I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to chat. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, let's go visit the workshop. See what the hell's going on. Hey, girl, let me get the heater. You, you me, saw that is number. just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city both above and below the surface. Uh, what is Geomero above and beneath the surface? You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Hmm. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, Nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Well, yeah, because of the uh, ice I shit. I shouldn't be talking about this. 
Pretend I never said anything. Uh, okay. Isn't Why is the it heater just like outside? cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Isn't it Wait, just what? like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like oh, that... Okay. So you put the heaters outside the buildings to keep them warm? What? I'm, I'm still lost. I'm still lost. It's an ore. A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Mm. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. All right, thanks no for your sweat. answers. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. <laughs> I get what you're hey, saying there. Seeing because as the there's haters. nothing on your plate <laughs> now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Mm, sure, Great. we're not busy, then let even me though give we you a demonstration are. Demonstration first. Okay, all right. Repair. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I think I got this. I, I think I got this. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yep. So that's how it works. Perfect. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Yeah, it, it's easy. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Uh, sure. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> well, I'd better. Okay, yeah, cool. Thanks. <laughs> it's. Here, I'm, I'm gonna snoop around your shop here. See if there's anything I can take. Anything I can smack around. Wait, toolbox. Cannot tell the functions of the items inside of the cabinet based on their silhouette. Could these spinning gears be powering something? For example, maybe the workshop will stand up and turn into a giant robot? Oh my god. Okay, don't be stupid. You're gonna change it to a giant robot. Oh my god, because of the giant gears. Oh my god. Come around and have a look. Uh, I think this is Ah uh, Space Anchor. Yeah. Oh, recover all nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm so glad I got everyone leveled up. I didn't realize I had all the resources to just level up right away, so as soon as I figured that out, I'm like, yes, do it all. Trash can, not remarkable in any way. Well, apparently there's something in the trash can. I've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. Uh, what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. Oh, I open the lid and it's empty. Wait, you reach deeper in the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap in, on the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. Aha! You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain, I get it. That urge is just too great for you to resist. But no turning back once you've walked down this path. <laughs> what? Yay, I, I got a trash can. Guys who can laugh at themselves usually have plenty of friends. Who are you cursing out? Nice, awesome. Ah, that's the hotel lobby. Okay, well, I don't want to go in the lobby just yet. I want to... I'm going to see this other thing over here. What's happening? Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning. Oh, uh-oh. But, but my proof of property is inside. 
I don't have any. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum hmm. corrosion Damn. has spread into the city. No wonder there We're going so into another pandemic. There. Time to quarantine. This world really is in dire straits. Can soldiers really hold back the Fragmentum? It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Yeah. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way. Let me pass. <sighs> just cut him down. Just cut him down. Requirements to lock this area have not been met. Okay. Well, time to go to the hotel and get some rest. Get some rest. Ugh, so tired. Huh. I just want to put my head on a pillow and drink. Yeah, yeah. D stop with the yawning, okay? I've been up for a while. <laughs> I don't need you wow, making me what tired. A beautiful lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Oh, yeah. Wanna that's have a right. Later? Huh? No, huh? no. I bet they're stuffed no. with goose feathers. <laughs> <laughs> March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop. I know what you're going to say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. Damn straight it is. This is That's the easiest job I've ever had. Not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Yeah, what were you going to say? Earlier in Klipoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? No. Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. <laughs> Your brain cells aren't, though. So, did you notice anything? I knew there was something up with her. Am I the only one who didn't notice anything? I, I knew there was something up with something her. Something up with her? She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. Well, I mean, it's true. And evidently, we weren't the only people in the room. I'm taking that blanket off. Must have been the invisible man. It must have been a guard. You guys are overthinking things. <laughs> uh, it's possible. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. I agree. Gotta have lots of discussions. Lots of heaters in here. Is there Good anything lord. Left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Uh, but that's enough fun for today. Time to it rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. All right. Well, y'all have a good night. Uh, I've got a bad feeling. Uh, sleep well, well guys. You too. Yeah, we we don't need to worry, everybody. It, 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 it's time for Betty by time. Since the next few days. No need tired. to worry, everyone. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off. Oh, let's see, what is this? Uh, tea time menu. 
Let's see. Butter toast, poached eggs, pancakes with syrup, with seasonal fruit jam, a cup of tea of your choice. Uh, coffee jelly, temporarily unavailable. Butterfly berry tart, yogurt berry cup, souffle with jam, honey and oats, mousse. Damn. Energy snacks, smoked frost wave, salmon rolls, salmon cheese tart, special sausage platter. God damn. Moo moo hot milk? What the f Due to a shortage in coffee, all menu items containing coffee are temporarily unavailable. We will provide them again as soon as supplies return to normal. We deeply apologize for any inconvenience caused. They're not sorry. They are not sorry at all. I, I was trying to get in the dresser. Oh. Who are you? What are you? So the Stellaron is what's talking to her. Oh my god. That's messed up. <laughs> Investigate the commotion outside the hotel. Wait, hang on. I want to get in the dresser. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is, based on all the signals coming from your sensory organs, a perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Okay, you're, you're starting to make me upset now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It smells good. And it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Uh, whatever. I'm going in. Here I come, closet. Yes, you are about to go in. Left foot, right foot. Turn around. Take a deep breath. Darn it. Why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm. And then close the door in one smooth move. Bang. Congratulations. You've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm, this place seems a little too dark for you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. Ha, that's the spirit given more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself, just wait a little longer. Something more interesting in this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? A sound is closing it. Click, click. Uh, it's just someone walking in the corridor. You gotta change your nihilistic views on life, pal. No, that's not the sound of human footsteps. That's, uh, room service. Go wild. Use your imagination. No, that's not room service. That's the Gothi Hotel's resident devil. It hibernates and... <laughs> what the f... You picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time after all the universe is... Re oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. It was room service. All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built. <laughs> you are prepared. Um, I'm going to come in now, okay? Now, devil, meet your judgment. Uh, bang the closet doors. The closet door slams open. Die, you hotel devil. <laughs> what? The Hotel Devil is now banished, and this land is now purified. Oh, my God. That devil seemed to have left some behind. Take it as your reward for your intrepid. <laughs> Praise of high morals. Wow. That is hilarious. Okay, let yeah, let, let's go down and see what the hell is going hey, on. Did you hear that? I heard uh, room service. The entrance. And I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is their helmets. You can't always be friendly on the job, you know? Maybe they're not here to escort I us. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. I agree. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. 
and no tricks. Okay. Are we in a lot of trouble? Uh, I I hope we're not in any trouble. We were told we were fine last night. Huh? It's you. You were there at the fort. I am Bronya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Wait, what? As agent what? of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. Good That's lord. Because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Dunham, the alley. The one that's been oh. sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Oh, oh huh? okay. Really? Alright, alright. I just wanted to Gotta say get something. ready. Gotta get ready to escape. Um, it's now or never. Of a kind. Uh, I guess we are a strange trio. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? No. Two pair. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace. Go, 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 go. Have an ice day. <laughs> Have an ice day. They charged yeah. straight in. Yeah, go ahead, run in after them. Being into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, get on in there. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. She seems very pleasant. <laughs> she seems like that she's very happy with her position here in Bellabog. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Great work. <laughs> it was a team effort. <laughs> we caught them by surprise. Nothing more. And they'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. I agree. Because if we're out in the open, we're going to get screwed. Oh, control panel. Find a way to leave the fragmentum and shake off the pursuers. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to a Uh. Uh. Today is the 50th anniversary of the death of Alexandra, the third Supreme Guardian of Bellabog. Uh, okay. Uh. A prominent family in Billabog. The past few months have been life-changing for the incidents of at Austin, Austin Gothi's 
funeral had a chance to settle. His two sons were already starting up a ruckus in court. Okay. It's just news. It's all, it's all news. It's all news. Got you first. Got you, bitch. Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Goodbye. Time to twirl. Let's go. Time to twirl. Goodbye. It's <laughs> reach the end of the story in your own way. Sweet. Max technique points reached. All right. May encounter a level 16, level 16, level 16. Okay, let, let's do three attempts in the Calyx. Th this is also what I was doing earlier whenever the recording wasn't <laughs> actually going. I feel so stupid. Well, no, it's because I need to switch between the the uh, programs to unpause it. I got to switch between the monitors. I didn't do it because I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Time to twirl. Hey. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Time to twirl. Go away. Rules are made to be broken. All right, kick their ass. Goodbye. Fighting All right. Number two. Told you I could fight. Ow. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Time to twirl. Oh dear. Ow. Have no interest in conflict. My turn. <laughs> Here. Let's go. Time to twirl. Oh, and they're back. And bah. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Ow. Ow. There. Sweet. Oh, shit. I forgot. Told you I could fight. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Rules are made to be broken. All right. Time to twirl. We're kicking some ass. Cut. Goodbye. Yes. Oh, I did the challenge just fine. Yes. Perfect. I didn't do all six, but uh, that was good enough for me. Okay, uh, can, can I can I uh, level up anyone? Wait, ascend. Oh, I need trailblazer le level fifteen. God dang it! God dang it! I still need to level up. It's fine though. We got this. Um, actually, we don't got this. I I need some health. Alright, that's gonna be good enough for now. I don't know if it mattered. I have no interest in going that way, but told you I could fight. Yep, get some defense going.
I won't break. All right. Yeah, defend yourself because. Let's make it quick. Yeah, apparently you go down quick. Take him down. It's all yours. Time to twirl. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Time to twirl. Ow. Let's go. Rule. All right, come on. Are made to be broken. Oh, shit. Told you I could fight. This is our chance. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Ah, almost. Alright. Yeah. Time to twirl. Ah, yes. I've no interest in conflict. Time to twirl. Oh, we're almost there. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Yeah, give him the diamond. Fighting is meaningless. Take him down. Oh, thank God. Hoo wee! Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at all that treasure. Oh my lordy lord. I have got to do something. Oh, that's chats. I don't give a shit about chats. I have got to get some health. Basic treasure, okay. My team is about to die. I need some health. Ah, okay, sweet. That's all I needed to do was go to the space anchor. All right, who's next, who's next? Oh, look at this pussy! Pussy ass bitch. All right. <laughs> Here. Here. Let's make it quick. Honored to meet me. Hey. Time to twirl. Damn. All right. Time to twirl and dead. Ah, a control panel. There it is. All right, cool. Now I don't have to run all the way around no more. Get out of here. Too late to repent. Time to twirl. Let's go. Time to twirl. Goodbye. And we're all powered up and ready to go. The Hell end of yes. The story in your own way. Space anchor. Max technique points. Sweet. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid well, th an open. Those conflict. two are asleep. I don't know what it's they're doing. <laughs> oh, we we're supposed to stay watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. That, that's fine. No big deal. Wait. There are silver main guards. We must have entered from. We should avoid an open. Let's find another path. Okay. Well, then. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Use this control panel. It doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. 
We need to oh, stop them one at a okay, time. okay. The guards are right on our heels. Yeah. Uh, okay, I I know how to do that. I I got this. Perfect. Yeah, let, let's get through here. Bountiful treasure. Nice. Ah! Oh, they hit me first! Son of a bitch! I thought I was gonna get him. Ow. Okay, alright. We're, we're gonna finish this real goddamn quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Time to twirl! Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! It is all yours. Nice! Perfect. They may have ambushed me first. The story in your own but they way. can suck a D suck a D D D D suck a D. Let's get health back up. Looking for a friend. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Jesus. Oh, this is someone, like, doing a Craigslist ad to get a friend. Friendly and positive, can learn to love nature and enjoy art. Not charmed or shackled by the evil name Money. Has an extra extraordinarily uh, strong willpower be like me in making world peace your mission can call me Wallace oh my god shut the hell up nobody cares Wallace go get Gromit to be your friend oh my god oh my god oh my god that was almost bad that was almost bad Ugh. screw you fragmentum too late to repent Let's go. Time to twirl. Tough luck running up. Time to twirl. Goodbye. Get out of here. Don't be a poopy noodle. All right. Cool. Got that treasure. Got some health. I don't see a switch for the gate. Well, have you have you oh, looked harder? There. Oh, it's behind that There's dude. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with. It. Yeah, we'll deal with the monster. Uh oh, view the consumables. Oh, I do have consumables, don't I? Wow. Okay. I completely forgot I had consumables. View the details of the current status effect. Nice. Where? Where's? What? Oh, okay. Oh, you. After using a consumable, the effects of the item will be shown at the item buff area. Okay. An ally's attack increases by five percent plus an extra one seventy for the next battle. Okay. Cool. Yeah! Got him! Son of a bitch. Time to twirl! My turn! Time to twirl! This is our chance. Honored to meet me. Time to twirl! Goodbye. <laughs> Damn, kick their Reach ass. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Sweet. Check the circuit structure. Oh, okay. 
Automaton Bubblebee. Please follow the instructions on the panel and confirm the exploration path. Oh. Please clear the path. Find a way to, oh, okay. Oh, is this to distract the guards? Oh, nice. Found bountiful treasure. Oh, the automaton flew away. <laughs> no! You showed me where the treasure was and then you left me. All right, before I go through that way, I, I want to explore up here just a tad. Just a tad. Oh, nope, not today. Hey, 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 I hit you first. Bullshit. I'm made to be broken. The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision. Get rid of that dude. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Oh, he is he is just about ready to destroy. Oh my god, he got an attack boost. Shit. My turn. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh shit. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Luck running into me. God damn it. <laughs> you. Oh, fuck you. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. We're about to get screwed. Oh yeah. Uh Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Uh. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. In death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Son of a bitch. Fighting is meaningless. I agree. But, uh, uh. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this Okay, awesome come move. on. Shit. Oh my god. 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 Damn it! I almost had him! I was right there! I was right there! I just want that treasure chest that's behind him! I'm gonna try it again. Screw it. I want that treasure. I'm gonna get it. We need a strategy. Yeah, hit him first. Ow. Move carefully. Get rid of asshole here. <laughs> you. 
Let's make it quick. All right. Time to twirl. Shit. Shit. Stop. Stop it. Alright, he's done. Honored to meet me. God damn. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. No interest in I don't want to be alone. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's go. Sweet. Oh my god. Son of a bitch! You piece of shit. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. more than this. Can't be rules. Are you freaking made to be me? broken? Uh, fine. Fine. We'll just continue with the story then. I won't get my goddamn treasure. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I know it's my own fault more than likely, but it's bullshit. I wanted that treasure, and I can't even get it now. All right, space anchor is good. Max technique points available. Look out! She really caught up with us. Oh we shit! Had time to set up an ambush. Oh, you dare underestimate me. <laughs> Even though we <laughs> suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. No. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. Mm. She summoned me last I'm night sure to she tell did. me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. No, we just oh, want to get the hell out of here. Tag. Damn. Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. No. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Oh, well, if there's no escape... Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Okay, well, I guess we're going no in battle again. In conflict. All right. Kick their ass. Time to twirl. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Goodbye. Just a scratch. Oh. Fighting is meaningless. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Hey. Time to twirl. I won't break. Uh, I won't break. Conflict. Let's go. That <laughs> nice. You didn't even do that. Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers myself. Oh boy. Boss battle. Oh. You're annoying. Oh. <laughs> You're annoying. Move carefully. Okay. Uh. Time to twirl. 
Let's make it quick. Alright, yeah, yeah. I'll attack her a little bit as well. Ow! All right, here we go. Gonna use all my powers. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. All right, and there one more. Oh, ow. Jesus, Let's why does go. she get double hit? My turn. <laughs> you. Yeah, fuck you. Fight with me. Shit. Fighting is meaningless. Time to twirl. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Here. Stop right there. Oh, you goddamn bitch. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's get her, get her, get her. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a Get her. My turn. Let's go. Gotta try hard some watch this awesome move. What are you looking at? Rules. Come on. Made to be Come on. Don't die now. Oh, we have almost got her. Ah oh, shit. No interesting conflict. Time to twirl. Tough luck running into me. Let's make it shit. Honored to meet me. Oh, she was oh did I get her? I did get her! Yes! Thank God! Oh, you what? first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Oh my god, this dude. One thing to say, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Oh my god. I hate this dude so much. He is so stupid. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. It is not death which creates them. Thank God for the subtitles because otherwise I'd be confused what the hell it's saying. The underworlders. They will lose the protection of the architects. They will see me as a tyrant. We see you as a tyrant right now. The world have promised a Stellaron. No, you won't. You aren't going to honor anything. Because you're a Stellaron and Come you're on, stupid. Those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't he woken up yet? 
Because he's sound asleep. Didn't you hear him sleep talking? Poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Okay, am Tell I supposed to be an adult or a child now? What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist yeah, on getting I, caught I'd up like in underworld know. affairs that have nothing to do with you? So if they're it's underworld a whole lot people. More attention from wildfire, you want? You're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Yeah, you Which never is know. Why set them loose in the underground. <laughs> come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl. Get her back as soon as possible. Then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. That's a good get question. It. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. Unfortunately. So what, we're in the underground now? Is that where we're at? I'm gonna collect some papers. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Uh, I had a weird dream. I bet. You were mumbling something about... Stellarons and wishes. I couldn't make sense of it. <sighs> There's a lot of things co to collect well, down here. Now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. Oh, hi, Natasha. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, Nice to meet Jake. you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. Yeah, I'm going to riz Sampo's her up also. Gone to clear <laughs> own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So if it. you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Uh, where are my They've friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your uh. rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her, but it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Who is this Sampo? Question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Uh, yeah, yeah. He hides in snow. Here. Let's get real here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Uh, well, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll we'll see. It's a we'll see about grassroots that. Grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silver Main Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Doctor <laughs> Natasha. No need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. Well, I appreciate that. I gotta that. find March seventh and Dan Hung, but where should I start? Here, I'm I'm gonna collect all this stuff real quick. Yeah, let let let's at least get to Boulder Town and see what's going on. So this is the underground. It looks just like the overground, but down under. 
I like the underground better. Hey! There she is. There's March. So, you promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all yeah, the you're, details. Yeah, you'll tell no us, you'll and no get told all this. the ins and outs. Uh, what does that mean again? <laughs> in an overgrounder, you know. Who can never tell us fibs? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, never. They're, they're completely against the overground. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? Mm, not that long, big sister. Uh, quit acting like a child. Oh my god, like shut up. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Uh, need a teammate? Huh, when did you start being so nice? Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. <laughs> this is my friend. He also wants to join the moles. Can he play too? I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Oh, for God's sake. Hmm, you're right, Julie. It's hide and okay, seek. It's not that hard. One. I'll hide. You two have to find me. Oh, my God. So okay, you fine. Think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. The mining team is hiring. Dumpster remains silent. <laughs> Yet a hint of sinister comes through. <laughs> Really wants me to go this way. Oh. Ha! Gotcha. <laughs> okay. So what? It's just a practice. Wait until we're playing for real. You'll see. Uh oh yeah yeah I'll definitely see. Yeah I I don't I don't think this is gonna be hard at all. All right, all right, all right. One, two, skip a few, 99.50. Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. Oh, you told them. Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. We're in the middle of the game. <laughs> Seemingly adult man. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy, but. Uh, looks like an adult with a to me. Child's brain. Well, uh, here's the truth. Uh, I'm a grown man. All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Julian of a thousand faces. 
pieces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? Okay, all no right. This is going to be interesting drama. for hide and seek. That was still a magical performance. The mining team is hiring. Mm. I don't care. Hey, where are you going? I, I thought that Come back, come back. They won't be hiding that far away. How do you know? Uh, someone threw three pieces of Geo Marrow in it. Person threw it so heavily that shards of the ore scattered all over the trash can. You have no idea where the anger of that person stems from. Neither can you understand this behavior. After all, Geo Marrow is as valuable as gold in the underground. Would you throw money even in a fit of anger? C of course. Wow. evokes a special emotion in you unrelated to its location appearance and olfactory triggers it is a sense of hiding from the world as well as a hint of pre pre preternatural uh, preternatural coziness god damn i've been on this for too long <laughs> good lord a wrinkly piece of paper is stuck on the lid of the dumpster with the number 81 on it uh open you see a shabby room with a set of wrinkled yellowish bedding a pillow made from a gunny sack to open bread flour soda a uh, pair of miners' boots, blah blah. It looks like someone used dumpsters as their humble living quarters. Probably. No, nope, can't go that way. There's treasure here. Oh wait, I just saw one of the kids. Haha, ha, I caught you. Yeah, you're you're bad at hiding. Unless you can answer this question. Okay. All right, let's what? hear it. But we caught you. What's with the Q and A? Uh, I thought I had you there. <laughs> Stupid child. Find all the, the hidden hey, children. Where are you going? Well, I figured. Come back, come back. They won't be hiding that far well, away. Well, you don't know. You don't know that. Uh, <laughs> Geo Mero. Clocking off. Oh, okay. Uh, where's that stupid ass kid? The mining team is hiring. What the hell? Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't run. I got you, Hook. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? <laughs> you suck, good. that's why. What are they feeding you kids down here? A lot of gruel. I... Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> what? Those with keen eyes <laughs> see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. That that was very poetic. Good job. Uh, you sure did. Time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. Oh. The fight club? Uh... I thought the first rule was... You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But... It's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Oh, shut up. You're her. about as useless as we are. Over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? I did. Because I'm an Hook adult and I can do what I want. Fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Mm -hmm. In fact, 
It's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? <laughs> what? Loads of kids take part. Uh, That's crazy that kids criminal activity are like involved with We're Fight Club. This is it. Oh well, I could have I could have just walked later. here myself. You could have just said it's right around the Who's corner. In charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? Why not? The Survival of the fittest. In charge that too, uh, but only the kids. Wildfires in charge of grown up business. Uh, so the moles control this whole area. Um, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we need to find our friend. My friend. I'm, I'm gonna go find my friend real quick, and then I'll and then I'll talk to you, saying, uh, "My friend, uh, my friend." Brothers and sisters. Are you ready for today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? Yes, I am. On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cole Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All okay. Praise to Boss Farag. All Even praise, no Boss Farag. Yes. On the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone. On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say: Whatever. <laughs> and so, whatever. Like semifinals of the one thousand. Like a little emo kid. Whatever. Fighting King Challenge. Begin! Quick, let's help him! Alright, jump in there then. Brothers and sisters, an unexpected turn of events. Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon. It looks like they want to team up with <laughs> Cold, Cold Dragon. Dragon Young! Oh my god, yes. So you're awake. Yeah. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt you're welcome brothers and you're welcome you can feel their passion is, is this another the boss battle this we're, we're gonna kick their ass we're, we're gonna do it but let me reiterate these competitions are for professional time to kick some ass all right let, let's let's do, do it kids don't try this at home don't don't tell me how to live my life and cold dragon young is signaling that the contest will go ahead he's just itching to get into it and so are we. It's the iron fists of Cold Dragon Young. Okay, okay. Keep them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Destroy them all. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I have no interest in conflict. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. Just explode. Bye bye. That was easy as hell. Didn't take any what time at all. Beautiful performance. Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious. Yay! We emerge victorious. How come we don't get cool nicknames? Uh, Cold Dragon Younger and Cold Dragon Youngest. <laughs> uh, forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Well, mine is Mambo Jake, so I mean. Hey, look, it's Sampo. Time to go kick his ass. Uh, we got another butt Let's to kick. Let's get after him. Let's go kick his butt. I can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Mm. Bet he went down here. Where's that shithead? Oh. Tell me to go up here. Never mind. 
So he's near here. Hey, hey, oh. it's you! I yeah. was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster and Anywho, okay, let, let, let's kick around, his ass. Come on. I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. All right, I'm gonna hey kick then. your ass. You saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends, what do I have to fear? Us. <laughs> that, that, that's what you have to fear is us. Uh, you set Don set hung up. Him up? Yeah, with a job. You guys are new here, and let me tell you, you're gonna need some cash. Mm, I don't and think so. Sampo Koski stops at nothing to help his friends. Saving you was just the beginning. I have to consider your finances too. With me, you get the full service, folks. That's friendship. Well, thank God for that. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Oh, okay. Well, that's good Be at least. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Yes. Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Well, you could have done like uh, something a little bit so easier instead of just poisoning us, but whatever. Up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> it's Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. Mm. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Mm, good to know. Uh, why would Wildfire well, want to help no us? Such thing is a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Mm. Find the I demand. Think we're gonna get screwed. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade. But do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Mm, probably. All right, I, I don't have time for have questions. Just faith. lead the way. It's like I said, Sampo never lets Actually. friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> oh, shut up. So, what does Wildfire okay. do all day? Um, by everything. They keep who the knows and who cares because yeah I'm 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 gonna call it right there wait hang on goods? I could save this right I don't remember if I could save this or not I don't know if I could save it oh well yeah I I got I gotta stop for now because it's <laughs> it's already so damn late and so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed um uh, and I'll play some more at another point.